you are not yet asleep, little kitty. Too much noisy noise. <laughs> do you know why do we make these noisy noises? Why? Well, let me answer that by answering a noisy question. Why do we snore? Zoom in. Have you ever been kept up all night by someone who snores so loudly that the entire house seems to shake? While that might be a bit of an exaggeration, the truth is that snoring has been a problem for humans since ancient times and people have tried some truly bizarre methods to combat it. Yes, from wearing leather masks and smelling onions to stuffing cannonballs inside their clothing. Our ancestors were definitely creative in their attempts to silencing their snoring companions, but unfortunately didn't achieve much success. But the vital question is, why do we make these snoring sounds in the first place? You see, normally when we breathe, air travels through our nose and mouth, down the back of our throat, and into our lungs. Our airways are made up of soft tissues like muscles, tongue and throat that are flexible and can move easily. However, when we sleep, these tissues can become too relaxed, which causes them to partially block the airway. As we continue to breathe, the air now has to pass through the narrow opening of the partially blocked airway. This causes the tissues to vibrate, which creates the sound of snoring. The more the airway is blocked, the faster the air will flow and the louder the sound becomes. Also, there are other factors such as a stuffy nose, the way your throat and mouth are built, or even the way you sleep can further put pressure on this passage that can worsen the situation. Not only that, but obesity can also lead to snoring. Yes, excess body weight can cause fat to accumulate around the neck and throat, which narrows the airway and makes it more likely to collapse during sleep. But now the question is, how do we get rid of this buzzing problem in the first place? Well, firstly, if you have congestion, make sure to clear up your nose before going to bed. Secondly, try going to bed at the same time every day and avoid sleeping on your back as it can make snoring worse and try sleeping on your side instead. And most importantly, during the day, Try to eat a healthy diet and stay active to maintain a healthy weight. But remember my friends, while snoring is generally harmless, it can lead to poor quality sleep and can be a sign of sleep apnea, a serious sleep disorder where breathing is interrupted during sleep, which if left untreated can have serious consequences. So, in case you find yourself waking up from sleep due to difficulty in breathing, it's important to make an appointment with your doctor ASAP. Trivia time! Did you know snoring can range in noise level from 50 to 100 decibels? Yes, you won't believe. But these levels are very similar to the noise level of a vacuum cleaner or a chainsaw. Sketching time! Today's sketch of the day goes to the Nisha Contractor. Hope you learned something new today. Until next time, it's me, Dr. Binox, zooming out. Never mind. <laughs>